back to SS Tech and Preach YouTube channel and today in this video we will see how to install a coignator okay coignator is a framework on you can say on your windows <coughs> on your ram server and how to open that uh, coignator on browser that also i will show you in this video then okay, first of all i will i am now in google screen and i have to download the coignator just i will write here uh, download coignator okay i have to download the coignator and uh, okay just i'm moving you can see you have to go to the first site that is a uh, coignator.com and uh, just click on that okay you can see here three coignators coignator 2 coignator 3 and coignator 4 according to your convenience you can download the coignator version this is the latest version and i have already downloaded the coignator 3 versions and just you have to click on this and this button <coughs> download button okay it will ask to save this file zip file and after that we have to extract i have already downloaded that's why i am not downloading the coignator version right now okay after downloading what i have to do okay after downloading you get one zip file and uh, in your download folder there will be zip file but uh, what I have to do just copy that zip file and go in a, uh, your wherever your vam server is folder is created like vam64 go in that go in w do just you can see i paste that zip file here okay and what to do here right now okay uh, we have to extract this file okay i'll just click on this button extract the file here only i'm extracting that file okay after extracting, this is not needed you can put this file uh, as a backup uh, for you okay after that you can see this is a file and what i'll do okay i will go inside that okay I'm just right here um, my project I'll give this as in my project name okay and I will just uh, because it's two folders uh, I want to show in only one folder I'll just do this okay uh, inside the project you can see uh, <coughs> Our coin folder there is an application folder, system folder, and user guide. So three folders, and other other files. The main where we have to do coding that is in application folder. You have to go in application folder, and there you can see we know that Coinator is an MVC framework. That uh, MVC means model view controller. Model means C. You can see model view and controller these are the three controllers which is important we, where we have to do coding not this only folder here other folder like config like uh, configurations of uh, our site like auto load.php when the, uh, means uh, maybe uh, if you use you can get means auto load automatic you should load config.php constant when we're defining some constant uh, in our project you can define your database like connection to the database this thing you can do your hooks concept is also there uh, i will explain in next videos also about hook concept about this also i will explain in our next video means related to coinator a lot of things like auto hook constant database hooks means all this uh, i will explain in next videos migrations uh, routes routes is also most important part of the coignators these are the configuration part then here this is controller here one default is there uh, that means uh, for getting to know whether our coordinator is working or not means they are welcome default controller the already the coordinator have given to us means how exactly the controller will be there and the core files this is not a uh, helpers there are some helpers also there these are the custom helpers okay and also also the application folder system also there might be helper this is the custom helper you can see inbuilt helpers which is provided by the uh, you can say coordinator system pins what happened uh, there are which the things which are provided by the coordinators like libraries also they have provided the libraries default libraries you can use this also if there is no or you have to use your own library then in customers this library uh, in application there is a library here you can add your custom libraries also okay we are in helpers okay helpers after helper there is a hook folders here you can write your hooks languages which type of languages uh, means languages folders also there means suppose there are multiple languages site you your site is of multiple language like english hindi marathi or any other language arabic any language then you can write your language folders and according to that you can make your site uh, multi-language also okay there's a library folders you can write your libraries logs 
and models see that this is a model folder where you can write your uh, models like database related things like uh, crude operations all the uh, fetching fishing this views this is a tpl file means you can say that interaction part design part all the files are your uh, extension dot php not it's not like html no it's dot php only view full view for part okay this is part okay now now you can see i have uh, downloaded the coordinate folder and i rename it and i have put in uh, vamp ww inside vamp 64 there's a ww folder inside ww folder i have put in that uh can say coordinate and rename by my project okay now how to see this thing on a browser okay suppose uh, you can see i have already opened this browser i will go here writing in your local host okay it's taking a little bit time okay uh, what happened why it's taking time because we have not on the vamp server right now okay then for that we have to first of all go in vamp okay it's open vamp i want to sh i have put in vamp now vamp server okay okay i have to first of all on the vamp server yes okay <coughs> not started when it is green the vamp server will be started okay, just wait for few minutes yeah it's already now we started in just few seconds yeah it's started now vamp server is started let's click on this okay you can see vamp server is now on uh, what it was that folder name my project Okay, you can see a welcome screen of coordinator is visible means now by using that you can understand that the coordinator which is installed in our vam server you can see welcome to coordinator this is a welcome page of coordinator uh, where exactly it is i will show you that page also in my project in application folder uh, now it's showing view okay i will click on this this welcome.php this uh, page uh, uh, is showing here okay these things are there in this page and how this page is set okay because you know that in going to the control is the middle level okay i will go into controller part there is also welcome.php and here the, that view is set this view is set okay uh, you can see okay by using this way you can install or uh, coordinator you know, on your windows 10 or uh, on your vamp uh, server same if you want to install in xamp server also same there's a different part uh, different um, you can say folder structure is that in that you have to try uh, install a xamp server okay how it is I will, that also i will show you there's a xamp in inside the HTTP doc uh, folder you have to um, or uh, can say put the you can say coordinator folders okay uh, okay till then uh thank you so much for watching my videos and uh, don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel to get in, uh, and also click on the notification icon to get instant notification of my upcoming videos and in next video also uh, i will just explain i will making a lot of videos of coordinator because when the new people who are using coordinator they are getting a lot of problems i also face i know which problem the uh, developers are facing and according to that only problem i'm making the next videos like uh, next problem will be for the developers like uh, uh, sometimes uh, how the how you are giving the url uh, in the coordinator like uh, how can the url uh, it's a little bit difficult for the developer to understand you can see now it's by default uh, showing means there's some default suppose uh, if uh, our site get login uh, we can go to the default controller also but uh, what are the rest of the controller how the path of how the url is given uh, how to put the url uh, and how uh, for accessing that url there is some index.php also we have to write in our url how to remove that index.php how to create our custom url okay this all type of concept we will cover in our channel and uh, i know that this type of all question which occurred to me also when i was new in coordinator according to that only same way i am trying to also okay and uh, also uh, trying to make that videos according to that so that this type of problem should not occur to you okay you can here also you can see uh, what i exactly have done in view and here also in controller in this this view is set okay means here also they are little bit explain how exactly this page is viewing okay okay till then bye and take care and don't forget to support my youtube channel bye
and take care.